On this episode of the Procedurally Generated Show, Tony doesn't do much of anything, and Ethan doubles down on his destiny. We talk about all of the week's biggest news and answer your questions. Well, howdy, howdy, everybody. Welcome to the Procedurally Generated Show. I'm your host, Tony, and joining me this week, I've got Ethan. Hey. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Did you know, sir, that we are almost exactly a month away from the Name Your Game Expo? It's crazy talk, Tony. We got a lot of stuff to do before October 5th. I need to learn how to code. <laughs> I got to write some questions still. We got behind the scenes stuff going on so we can make sure we do this stage show the way it's supposed to be done. I think it'll be good. I think it'll be fun. Um, so if anybody is in the Tulsa area on October 5th, October 6th, come on over to the event center and hang out with us. Watch us do the stage show. Hang out with people that like video games, board games any other kind of games there probably won't be pachinko there though so konami will be disappointed game changer disappointment all around you don't want to go him. now do you no uh -huh. but i'll take my own pachinko machine it's behind my tv there you go so if you want pachinko there tell ethan he'll bring some pachinko <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> if it works uh so yeah there you go um yeah, that's going to be fun. So, Ethan, how exactly have you doubled down on your Destiny? So, Destiny 1 is a thing. Don't know if you know it that. Uh, Brandon needed some help with some stuff on there. We're, I think we're still working on some other things. But he wants to get that done before the... Uh, before the, the, the launch of the new expansion. So we got some work to do on that. So uh, Is there a Destiny 1 expansion coming? No, 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 no. Before the expansion for number 2 into uh, Shadowkeep. Oh, okay. Because that's whenever the stuff happens with uh, New Light and all that stuff. Yeah. So uh, 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 we, we did the uh, base game so far went to the gar the black garden to feed the heart of darkness or whatever that thing is and I um, think we're ready for the dark below house of wolves then it's going to go into the taken king and then rise of iron then he'll be all caught up Yeah. unless he wants to do raids well that's another story <laughs> yeah, you'll have to spend a whole lot more time on those. We'll need some friends for those. So I saw this week though that the Destiny 2 free to play version will include all the expansions. Had that been announced previously or am I just now seeing that news? No, that's been announced that it's gonna include the current expansions up to the current. It's just it's not gonna have Shadow Keep. Or as far as I know it won't have Shadow Keep. I'm I'm not sure how that part works. I really need to look into that because I paid for Shadowkeep, so if that was a free thing, I'm going to be a little mad. You just wasted your money. Right? But uh, sticking with Destiny news, into Destiny 2, in prep for Shadowkeep, I got the Curse Breaker title. Because titles are a thing in Destiny 2 for doing certain things. This one required destroying 40 corrupted Taken eggs or something throughout the Dreaming City. Yeah. And you have to earn a, a, a special weapon the, the called Wish Ender. And you have to wait until the third week of the corruption in the Dreaming City before you can earn it. 
through some some means. I think there's some quest involved with that too. I, I don't remember really, but I got it. That's all, all that's important to me. So I had to hunt down all these eggs, and you have to wait for the specific weeks to happen so you can go into the ascendant challenges and get certain eggs and arm the arm carm bones as well. So I it did all like the world's worst Easter egg hunt. Kind of was, really was, because you'll see all these eggs throughout the stuff or throughout the game or that area, mm-hmm. and unless you have that thing that can d- destroy it, you don't really think too much about them. Yeah. In fact, there was one that I used as a jumping stone to get into a, another area, and I had to shoot it, so it's gone now. So I don't have that jumping stone to make it easy to get to this area anymore. But did all uh, shot all those. Uh, had the majority of the clan, or I had the majority of the people that were helping me uh, last night get this. Uh, the final egg was mm. uh, actual clan mates of mine, and uh, we had to do part a certain boss fight in the in in the uh, last wish raid, and uh, we spent more time getting people to show up, finally get enough, lose one, finally replace him, and we just one-shot the boss in, like, four minutes. It was kind of amazing, and then they showed me where the egg was, I shot it, and we were over and done with with that. Well, alrighty. So, yeah, Destiny. I need to expand my horizons, apparently. <laughs> you have played a lot of Destiny. So much Destiny. <laughs> well, you're getting your money's worth out of it, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Do you know how many hours you've put into that game at this point? <laughs> I think I saw a thing the other day, and it said I had 43 hours on Destiny 2. That's it? Just 43 hours? You know what? I'm looking it up right now. Waste... Can you just... <laughs> Go to was- wastedondestiny.com, <laughs> entering my uh, user ID. It's loading. Does Destiny not have a counter in it at all? Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh my. Oh. Live reaction right there of how much time <laughs> you have played. That. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, Tony, add the. You know what? Let's add these together. 521 hours, 46 minutes. Oh, good lord. That's Destiny 1. Plus 713 hours, 53 minutes for Destiny 2. Are you kidding I'm not done. 27 minutes for Destiny 2 on Xbox. And 29 hours, 31 minutes for uh, uh, PC. Or Battle.net as it's called at the moment. Because it's going to be moving Uh, to Steam soon. Let (laughs) me pull up my calculator here. That is a lot. <laughs> I'm just adding the hours, not the minutes. 521, 713, and 29. It's 1,263 hours. Divided by 24, that's 52 days. Well, that's like less than two months. That is a lot. Of time. I cannot uh, believe, even I'm shocked that it's that high. Wow. I, I did not expect 500 hours. And then I saw the 700 hours. I'm in the top 21% for Destiny 2 for time wasted. Can you see, like, other people's time, or is it just... This percentile you... rank is based on the time played compared with other players. <laughs> I'd be curious to see what the top is. Oh man! If I knew the who whoever it was that was the top, if I knew their name, I could look them up. Yeah. That's wow. Oh, that is, that is a lot of time. 
Like I would have figured two or three hundred hours probably. But oh my gosh, this is even worse. What? So this is time time spent on characters, like playing the actual game. Time spent in orbit or in social spaces is not tracked. <laughs> Oh my god! So it's even more than that. It is a lot more than that. Destiny 1, every time you did a mission, it was back to the tower so you could do stuff. Yeah. Destiny 2, you only went to the tower when you absolutely had to. And I spent a lot of time in the tower. Oh my goodness. There you go. We have now just drained Ethan's soul from his body with that <laughs> that revelation. I could have sworn last time I checked it was only like 300 hours. And I think that was uh, combined. I don't know. Did you last check it like six months ago? Probably. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm just going to close that window. Wait, 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 wait. Smiley Rider, what is it, 43? 34. 34. I think I spelled it wrong. Smiley, how do you spell it? S-M-I-L-E-Y-R-Y-D-E-R. R-Y-D-E-R. Oh, it's pulling something. Well, I've played the game. There we go. You've got 7 hours, 36 minutes in Destiny 1. <laughs> it's probably less than that for Destiny 2. 2 hours, 32 minutes. That's it? That's it. Wow. I thought Did you even press more. start? Apparently not. So, you have yeah. You have 10 hours and like 8 minutes across Destiny. Well, that's not that. that that's I, I could have played more Destiny, but you didn't. You let us down. I've got, I've got more time than that in Warframe. I know. Oh, can I look that up? I don't know if you can look that up. Finding out live right now how much time we have devoted. There's not a timer sleep. for that. Yeah, I don't even think there's any way in the game to track how long you've been playing. Uh, people are talking about that, but I like how I can just look people up on this one website. <laughs> there you go. I I have let my destiny slip. So, um, what have you been playing? Uh, the one game that I've been playing this week I can't talk about. So, well, darn it. I can't talk about it till next week. Stay tuned uh, for next week. But it's it's fun. It's like Diablo. I can t It's not Diablo, but it's like Diablo. It's not Diablo, but it's like Diablo. But you can't tell us what it is. Okay, got it. Nope. Uh what it's I Diablo. have Diablo. It's not Diablo. Diablo 2. It, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Get us in trouble it's, here, aren't I? <laughs> it's not Diablo 2. If you know what I'm saying. Okay. People are going to think I've been playing Diablo and I can't talk about it for some reason. Diablo 4? I thought it was a myth. It's it's coming. To, it's exclusive to Switch. Time wasted on Diablo. <laughs> All the time. Uh, no, what I have done though that I could that I guess I'd like to talk about for a little bit is I watched a couple episodes of a TV show this week. TV show? You? That's impossible. Yeah, no, I watch TV all the time. Okay. I watch TV when I probably should be playing video games or reading a book or going outside or doing something. I watch a lot of TV. Okay. Um no, but long awaited I've been waiting for this for a long time since it was first announced uh, the Dark Crystal TV show hit Netflix this week 
I've heard of this. This is a prequel to the Dark Crystal movie that came out 37 years ago. 1982 is when that movie came out. That is and older is... than I am. <laughs> See, I was two when it came out, so I I am older than the Dark Crystal. Uh, no, apparently there are like some comics and stuff that I didn't know about that I need and to. So it is older than you. Um, no, I think that the comics came out after the movie. Oh, okay. So is that what this uh, new C- uh, TV series is based on? This is a completely different, this is a separate story from those. I think it pulls some things from the comics, but it is a completely original story uh, okay, that takes so. place an undetermined amount of time before the movie. So we can just assume the comics were like helping with setting. Yes, they okay, were. Good. They were basically they were trying to set up the world that people saw in that movie back in the 80s this is jim henson the the henson workshop you know muppet babies and all that all puppets yeah so uh, i watched a lot of muppet babies growing up i don't know why that's my default i watched a lot of muppet babies as a kid yeah but i mean i never think about like just the muppets it's muppet babies it's muppet babies yeah and that was a cartoon not a but apparently they had muppets of them or puppets. Oh, did, well, I mean, so I uh, did I, they? Did they have? Yeah, like, they did. I, I saw. A, see, I didn't know that. I saw a clip of it, but it, that's all I ever saw. All I ever remember of the Muppet Babies was the TV, the the cartoon. Watch that cartoon all the time. It was good. My wife is walking across the kitchen singing the theme song right now. <laughs> 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 It's one of the it's one of those songs that you never forget. Um, babies. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> Where your dreams come true. So this Netflix show has dropped. It's ten episodes um, that take place. I don't know how long. I've heard a hundred years. I've heard a thousand years. I don't know exactly how long. A millennia since the pr- first movie. It has many of the characters from the movie, so it. I, it can't take place that, you know. Well, it can't be a th- hundred or a thousand years unless those people just live forever. Well, it it is possible because of the way the world is. They they're not. I know, you know nothing of this world. I don't even know what the dark crystal is. So, outside of in, a robot chicken skit, that's all I know. <laughs> in the movie, the characters something happened to the crystal. The crystal cracked, and it split this group of uh, this race of beings called the Urskex, I think. I may have been getting that wrong. Um, Split them into two races of beings, the Skeksis and the Mystics. And then there's another race of beings called the Gelflings that are the heroes of the movie. Um, The Skeksis are the villains. The Mystics are these... I don't even know exactly how to describe them. They're these four-armed camel looking thing they're not camels but that's like the closest thing i can kind of think of if you if you imagine a camel that has four arms and is ancient um it, suddenly i have a mortal combat character in mind the, the best thing i can think of, it's not goro they don't look like goro at all um and then the skeksis are giant bird-like creatures they look like vultures or something like that and the Skeksis are in control of the crystal. In the movie, the Gelfling, the the hero, has to take a shard of the crystal and get it to where the Skeksis are holding the the full, you know, crystal that's missing just the one piece of shard. Put the shard in the crystal and restore the world that is dying to to life. Um, so it's basically just like you're watching Inuyasha except not as fast everybody in that moves very slowly Uh, and they're not and not puppets that's true that's true and then this tv show takes place before this where the the gelfling race is basically subservient to the skeksis they provide like the army for the skeksis they are guards of the crystal um 
and then something happens in this first episode that I don't want to give away, and the he, the Gelfling hero in this movie, wh- whose name is Rianne, is voiced by uh, Taron Egerton. It's like you're just making up words. This means so <laughs> little to me. It's so crazy. I'm not making up words. You, you should watch this. This is a fantastic show. Um, <laughs> I could never... I, I, I can't do it justice with the way I'm describing it. But the, the Gelfling hero, whose name is Rianne, and you're going to make me laugh every time you laugh, um, <laughs> discovers that the Skeksis are not as benevolent as the Gelfling race thinks they are, and that sets events in motion where things happen that eventually lead up to the movie of the dark crystal it's like you're the person inventing the unicorn it's not real <laughs> but you're tr- you're describing and naming it at the same time to to other people to so Just they understand making it up on the spot uh it's like where so. did the name come from this makes no sense um <laughs> I watched some behind the scenes stuff of this TV show and one of the things when the the idea for the TV show was first pitched was someone wanted it to be uh, they they pitched the idea of a, idea of a CG version of the show and um, people at Netflix actually said, "You know what? You should do this with puppets just the way it was originally done." And uh, the people behind the show were like, that's going to make it way more expensive. And Netflix was basically just like, I don't, whatever, just do it. Um, and so they got a lot of the people who had originally worked on The Dark Crystal, their family members now, they're, they're like kids, are members of the crew of this TV show. Oh, wow. Uh, and it's all done the way they originally did with puppets. There's a little bit of CGI, but not very much. I think uh, in the first couple episodes that I've seen, I could have picked out maybe two things in both of these hour-long shows where it was very obviously that they did this with CG and didn't do practical effects. Um, But everything is a puppet, and the voice cast that they have for the show is fantastic. Like it is a really, um, really good group of people. I'm trying to pull up the list right now. <laughs> One of the characters so, has a puppet in hand. Guess what? It's a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, sorry, I just couldn't resist that one. Um, the main character, the hero of of the show is voiced by Taryn Edgerton and that has my daughter she's like she, she's like super creeped out by puppets but she heard Taryn Edgerton's voice and she just sort of melted she loves Taryn Edgerton I am creeped out by the dark crystal puppets really yes uh so um the leader of the Gelflings is voiced by Helena Bonham Carter and then uh, some other uh, other people that uh, voice Gelflings are Eddie Izzard, who is a comedian. Very, very funny. Uh, Toby Jones. Alicia Vikander, who, if, but if you don't know who that, that is, that is the... Uh, and the actress for Laura Croft. Oh. The new one? Uh, yes. Oh. Uh, and then Mark Strong, <laughs> who was in The Kingsman. He's been in some other things. I still haven't seen that movie. Movies. Really? There's a third one getting ready to come out. Oh my gosh. It's a prequel it, to the first one. So it, It's like the John Wick thing all over again. Basically. Uh, and then some of the, the villains are voiced by, by uh, Jason Isaac. Uh, I've heard that Harry name. Potter. Yep. Uh, Simon Pegg. <gasps> hey! Uh, Benedict Wong, who is in the Marvel movies. He is in... Uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, Doctor Strange. Uh, Harvey Firestein, Keegan Michael Key. Hey. Uh, Mark Hamill is. Yeah, I never heard of him. Is one of the uh, prominent Skeksis, and he, the voice that he uses is basically the voice of the Joker. That's all he's really doing. Oh no. Yeah. So. I mean, he's really good at it, but it's like, come on, Mark, do another voice, man. <laughs> You can definitely hear a lot of the Joker coming through in his character. And then uh, Sigourney Weaver does a voice in the show as well. 
Really? Yep. And like it is, I I love the Dark Crystal and have been super excited for this to come out. Um, nobody in my house wants to watch it with me though. I think I might have convinced Andrew to finally sit down tomorrow and watch an episode with me. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. I love it. Love, love, love the Dark Crystal. So. Uh, but since I didn't play anything really that I can talk about, I figured I'd just talk about the Dark Crystal for a little bit. Um, and I could I could probably talk about it for hours, <laughs> but I, but I, but I won't. Every time you mention another race's name on there, I'm just gonna laugh. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh well, um, there isn't there is another race of, of oh creatures gosh, in, uh, uh, they're called Podlings. They look like the uh, Fallen from Destiny. They look like the Fallen from Destiny. I'm just saying stuff to you now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, really? Um, I have no idea what they look like. I don't watch this uh, stuff. They sort of look like potatoes with faces. Are they adorable or scary? They're kind of cute. But they're puppets, they're kinda... so they're scary. Yeah. It's like uh... Attack of the Killer Potatoes. Exactly, um, ex- and they don't speak English. They only speak Podlingese or whatever. I don't remember what the subtitles call it. Um, they speak in spuds. Really... The only thing that I'm curious about with this TV show is they seem to change the uh, the backstory of the Skeksis a little bit because. They imply in the TV show that they're aliens, and that's not the way that they were explained to be brought into being in the movie. Are, so you, sh- are, are, are you sure they're saying aliens like from outer space or aliens like foreign to this land? They say that they're not of the world that we're in. And so a lot of people are implying that that means aliens, and I don't know. I've only seen two episodes, so... It could be an alternate maybe, reality or parallel universe. You don't know. It could be something like in the, the in the movie where they were created from one race of beings that split into two, and that could you know imply that they're not of this world. But I don't know, and I don't know if that's something that they're going to get into into the, into the future or not. Um, that's the only real question that I have about stuff that I've seen so far in the TV show but you know only being two episodes in I don't really uh, uh, I, there's still plenty of time for that that kind of stuff to be explained okay so uh, but that's really all that I've been doing I'll be able to talk about the game that cannot be mentioned next week what about the Dark Crystal game I don't know when that's coming out. I thought they were going to bring that out about the time that the show was released. Uh, but I have not heard yet when that is supposed to come out. And I don't think um, it's been announced at this point, aside from later this year. All right. Uh, so uh, yeah, I will definitely, though, be playing that. That is, number one, it's the Dark Crystal and then number two, that is basically Final Fantasy Tactics set in the world of Dark Crystal, and so... With creepy puppets. Yeah. <laughs> Except they're not going to be puppets in the game. I mean... <laughs> CG versions of the puppets. Exactly. Uh, pixelated, you know, 3D pixelated versions of puppets. So... Uh, but it did. I do think some of the voice cast is going to be in the game. I think think i saw that so well, it was like that old person that was doing the the that's agra yeah i don't know that stuff <laughs> uh, who is in the uh, has you know a big part in the tv show so um yeah there you go uh let's take a quick break though right now we will come back and we will talk about the news
Hey, Ethan, the, this week it was announced that Switch will be getting a game that I am very interested in playing. Dragon Quest Builders 3. That has not been announced yet, but I will be very excited when they do finally make that announcement. Okay. <laughs> if they make that announcement. I mean, I assume the series, this fran- that franchise has been really good for Square Enix so far. So I think they're going to try to to do a third one. But we'll see. I don't know. Um, Didn't the guy that does uh, does that's that? That's true. He left quit? Square. It's... Yeah, he left uh, Square. So that, that that's that not may... part of the news. It's just it's conversation. So that may put a damper on those plans, but we'll see. No, I am talking about Castle Crashers. <gasps> Castle Crashers. I've played that. I have played a couple of levels of Castle Crashers, and that's it. I've not played through the full game. Uh, but Castle Crashers Remastered will be out for the Switch on September 17th. So we're less than three weeks away from the release of that game now. And they've just made the announcement that the game is coming. So. Cool. Uh, it includes the Back Off Barbarian minigame, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, and it will run at 60 FPS rather than 30, which is what the original game ran at. And it will also include all previously released DLC, which makes sense. I mean, the game is, what, seven or eight years old at this point? Uh, something more. like that. Actually, maybe cl- oh, it may be closer to ten years old. Yeah, the original release was... It's older than that. The original release was 2008. So the game is 11 years old at this point. Um, wow. So it will be out on September 17th for the Switch, and it will be coming to the PS4 later. So uh, the game will be making its way to all of the current generation consoles, which will be great because I, I would really like to play this game. I have not played all the way through it, I don't own a copy of it at this point. Um, but I think that's one that people in my house would like to play together. So we will definitely be checking out Castle Crashers when it launches on the Switch. It's got some good music. Does it? Yep. Yeah, the only thing I remember is that it's got crazy... It's got a crazy art style. and It has that Newgrounds art style. Yeah. But it's like a sharper, better design, but it still maintains the some level of it. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Which, haven't all of the games that that developers put out, they've been that same sort of... I don't want to say Flash game art style, but that's that sort of look to them. More or less. Like the alien hominoid thing seems like more of a loose build based on that ended up leading to a better design which became what Castle Crashers uses. Yeah. Alright, well, it will be out here in less than three weeks on the Switch. Would you be interested in knowing what the PlayStation Plus games for the month of September are? Yes. Uh, Would you be excited if I told you that they're pretty good games? I'd say that's crazy talk. The the last couple of months, I think I personally think the PlayStation Plus games have been pretty good. I played through a good portion of Sniper Elite Four last month, and Wipeout was was a good game. Um, uh, but this month, for the month of September, PlayStation Four is getting Arkham Knight. Hey, that's a good game. That is a good game. And Darksiders 3. I've heard of that. That's actually not that old. No, it's less than a year old. I think so Arkham I think Knight's, it... what, three, four years old? Yeah, it's it's not terribly old. Um, Those, I mean, I don't know about Darksiders 3, but Arkham Knight's really good. Darksiders 3, I, I think it might have been just an okay game, really. Yeah, it's the one I haven't played. I've played Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2. I haven't played Darksiders 3 yet. 
Um, I have man. played all of the Arkham games, but I would happily play through this again. Um, and if you haven't played it, I recommend you, you download it and play through it because it's really good. I do kind of want to play Arkham Knight again. Uh, came out in 2015. Four years. Wow. So. There you go. Darksiders 3, the, you know, each of the Darksiders games have played very differently from the others. You know, the first one was the Zelda style um, game. Uh, Darksiders 2, I'm trying to think of what that one reminded me of. Uh, you and I had a conversation about this the other day. Oh, okay. Uh, Darksiders 1 was Zelda. Darksiders 2 was like. Uh is like trying to duplicate an MMORPG and turn it into a single player experience. Okay. Yeah, and then Darksiders 3 looked a lot like uh, the old God of War games to me. Uh, and it may just be the way the character uses, like, she, she wields dual chains, look like sort of like Kratos so, did. So it was kind of like a um, more a, a loose hack and slash. So, yeah. Yeah. And then the fourth one, which is coming out, looks sort of like a Diablo-style game. Cool. So, uh, but these will all be out September 5th, so uh, this Thursday. And then I also have seen the list of games with gold for the month of September as well. What do we got and going on there? That is the first season of Hitman. Hitman, oh, Hitman. Oh, Hitman, okay, all right. Yeah, Hitman, the complete first season. Uh, we Were Here, which I no clue what that is. Oh, I've heard of that. That's going to bug me that I don't remember what it is. It looks like a very snowy game, just from the cover. It's got someone in like a real heavy fur coat looks like they've got a phone in their hand it gives me vibes of like a survival horror style game but i don't know that that's what it is um, might just be story driven it could be uh earth defense force 2025 edf edf and tekken tekken tag tournament 2 i played the first one not the second one so, there you go. Four games for Games with Gold, two games for PlayStation Plus. I have not seen the NES games that will be out on Switch. So. It's a surprise to everyone. Yeah, it's a surprise to Nintendo because they don't know what they want to put out anymore. Uh, wonder what they'll do when they run out of NES games. Uh, game and watch games. I'd actually be all right with that. They would do that, wouldn't they? I'd play some game and watch games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> some game announcements also. Some other game announcements happened this week, and they include Mega Man Z. And ZX, this is a collection of games, right? Legacy collection, yes. So that's six games, I believe. Zero, zero, two, zero, three, zero, four, ZX, and ZX Advent. Okay. I have played none of these games in the past. Uh, Mega Man Zero was on Game Boy Advance, and then the uh, uh, Mega Man Zero through Zero Four were on GBA. There was the Zero Collection on on the Nintendo DS ZX and ZX Advent were all, uh, uh, also on DS I was about to say 3DS I was thinking it over for a second and these are all side scrolling games just like they are traditional Mega Man's, right? they are like traditional Mega Man X okay. but you play a zero or yeah. a zero like character because, so you have an because in, awesome yellow ponytail well yeah and you're you're wearing all red, and you got the saber. Yep. So, do we know when those will be out? 
Uh, Sometime next year is all I've seen. Probably, yeah. Um, 2020 is the only thing I've seen, so I don't know that an official release date has been announced. And these will be coming both physically and digitally, so you'll be able to get whichever version of those games that you want. Uh, Yacht Club Games held their first, what they called Nintendo Direct-style events. Uh, They showed off a bunch of updates that will be coming to the original Shovel Knight game, as well as the last bit of DLC, King of Cards, which has sort of been an oft-delayed DLC pack at this point. I I thought it was a joke that they were making at some point. So No, that was the official last bit of DLC that they were going to be doing for Shovel Knight. They showed off a bunch of updates that will be happening to all the previous versions. Um, New character options for for Shovel Knight. Uh, Some updates to the the enemies in the games, the way they, they fight. And uh, some updates to both Plague Knight and Spectre Knight, I think, as well. Cool. Then they can move on to Shovel Knight 2. Uh, well, not exactly. Oh? Because they announced a new Shovel Knight game, but it is not Shovel Knight 2. Mm-hmm. It is called Shovel Knight Dig. I can dig it. Trying to get the information for this. This Which, is uh, this is a game by Yacht Cl- well one Yacht Club Games who makes Shovel Knight, and then uh, it's a collaboration with uh, Nitrome. Yes, Ni- Nitrome, Nitrome. I call I pronounce it Nitrome. Uh, the, uh, they're they're mostly known for being awesome in the uh, mobile mm-hmm. game area. Yeah. And have this... recently been trying to get into the console market. The trailer for this, uh, to me, initially looked very much like a combination of Shovel Knight and SteamWorld Dig. That's one way to think about it, yeah. Uh, because you are you're starting at the, the top of a play area and you're digging down. And you're fighting enemies along the way and... Uh, basically just digging and collecting loot. Um, So, I mean, they haven't shown off a ton of stuff about the game. They did show off a trailer. Uh, uh, But then some new characters that they showed off uh, look like new villains. Drill Knight and then Spore Knight. Spore Knight, is that right? I think so. Uh, he, He looks like a like a toad <laughs> <laughs> like a mario toad i guess is what i'm trying to say he, lo- he looks like yeah, a little like a mushroom, mushroom. He- he's a little mushroom person yeah. and his ability makes i guess mushrooms grow across the ground temporarily yeah but i don't know much about it other than what i saw about him in the trailer uh, and it, it does does update the art style of shovel knight a bit uh, you were saying this looked like a like a GBA port of an NES style game. Not not so much a port as much as like you or would like have a your GBA update. More like a GBA sequel of a game that was already on a console, like okay. Super Nintendo, because you go from your eight bit style to that soft thirty uh, sixteen thirty two bit design. Mm-hmm. So, I, I call it a soft softness because it kind of bl- everything blends better, really. Yeah, everything looks real smooth. Um, yeah, so that, that's why I, why I called it that. Okay. If yeah, it, it still it, it looks really nice. It, it looks very much shovel knight like. I mean, other than the fact that it's shovel knight there, but it, it's just it's a very different design. Yeah. So, uh, no release date for that has been announced. I would imagine that will be out sometime in twenty twenty as well. Um, they they did say that the Amiibo would be out the triple pack which is Plague Knight Spectre, Spectre Knight. Knight and King Knight I think which uh, goes along with the 
the DLC packages. That you sure it's released. not Shovel Knight? Are you sure King Knight's getting one? Shovel Knight is already out. I mean, he could be in the three pack. I mean, Splatoon did it. Well, that's true. Um, so, hold on. Shovel Knight Amiibo 3 pack. That's exactly what I was. Okay, it's King Knight. Yeah, that made that's that made more sense to me. Um, who wants a King Knight shovel uh, amiibo though? People who like shovel knight for shovelry. So so that's uh, the end that, of the show, right? <laughs> no, that three that three pack of amiibo will be out in December. Cool. So that's the end of the show, right? Uh, not if we want to survive past Micah hearing this show. Because we have another game to talk about, and that was Yakuza. But the Yakuza collection was already announced. Yeah, the, it won't include the newest game in the series. The newest game? With the new game. protagonist as well. That's crazy talk. There's not a new game. Uh, Kazuma's story ends in Yakuza 6 and there is a new protagonist in the next Yakuza game which uh, moves away from the sort of action brawling style of game um, into a more turn based RPG really? yep so uh, the I, come on the information just disappeared uh, yeah it is disappear it is getting rid of that beat em up style which has been famous throughout the first six games in the series and is moving to a turn based RPG style of combat system turn based interesting yeah, a, lot of pe- a lot of people were comparing it to um, Persona. It, it did have some vibes from that, from what I could see. Uh, it also looks sort of like a Dragon Quest style uh, combat system. Uh, the game's title in Japan is Yakuza 7 Whereabouts of Light and Darkness. And features a new protagonist, like we mentioned. His name is Ichiban Kasuga, who uh, spent the previous 18 years in prison and has been abandoned by his clan so similar type of story to what has happened to to Kazuma in the past interesting Uh, wears a snazzy new suit but it is not white it is red this guy's gonna stand out quite a bit uh yeah he's got large hair (laughs) like, <laughs> that is one way to describe that, yes. He has a crazy Japanese looking afro. So, uh, very different look from the previous Yakuza protagonist. Um, and that will be out in on January 16th in Japan. And it will be released here in the West... Uh, the game will be titled Yakuza Like a Dragon here in the West, and that will be out later in 2020. So it drops the it drops the number from the title here in the states, which is interesting. That is, but it's using like the Japanese translated name. That's interesting. Yeah. So. Uh. That will be very, very interesting. I'm, I'm going to be sad that I can't just walk up to a bike, pick it up, and start slamming it over people's heads. Oh, we, we'll all be sad about that. <laughs> so, oh, but yeah, there you go. Yakuza 7. Micah is very, very, very happy that this is coming over here. Um, and that, Ethan, unless you have any other... Uh, last remarks that will be the show 
Uh, I'm out of remarks. Okay. Well, then, I guess at that point, it is time to say thank you for being on the show this week. Thank you for having me on the show this week. <laughs> if you want to reach out to us, we have new ways to do so. You can email us at proceduralygeneratedent at gmail.com. If you like what we do, you can support us on Patreon by going to patreon.com slash p-g-e-n-t. Patreon supporters get the video version of the podcast a day early. Follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash progenint. Check out our YouTube channel, and we still have that famous Facebook group where you can interact with us on a daily basis as well.